When entering the cockpit, the first item to be checked is the battery voltages. To do this, you look at the battery voltage displays on the electric panel. As you can see, both are below the minimum required 25 volts, so you will have to recharge the batteries from external power. Switch battery 1 on. Note the off-light has eliminated on the battery 2 push-button switch because now the aircraft has electrical power to provide that indication. Switch battery 2 on. The ground cart is now connected. The green avail light has appeared, which means external power is plugged in, its voltage and frequency are normal, it is ready for use. Switch the external power on. When the blue on light is eliminated, the ground cart is supplying the aircraft. The ECAM electric page has been called for you. Note that voltage and frequency are within normal parameters, since they are shown in green on the ECAM page. By following the green lines on the ECAM page, you can see that the external power is supplying all the electrical system. Because the engines are not running, the indications of the associated generators are in amber, and fault is eliminated in amber on the generator push-button switch. On the ECAM page, the battery voltage and current are shown. Because the voltage is not yet normal, the value stays in amber. You can also see the green arrow, which indicates that the DC battery bus is charging battery 1. Both batteries are now charging from the DC battery bus. During this time, you can continue with your cockpit preparation. The average charging cycle is approximately 20 minutes. The battery charging cycle is now complete. The green lines connecting the batteries to the DC battery bus have disappeared, indicating the batteries have disconnected. The APU has been started, and it is time to disconnect external power. You can see on the ECAM page that the APU generator parameters are now displayed. Notice that the APU generator has not automatically taken over supplying the electrical system from the external power. This is because external power has priority over the APU unless external power is deselected. To select the APU generator, deselect external power. Switch the external power off. A green line has appeared connecting the APU box to the system. This means that the APU generator is now supplying the aircraft. You can see that the load is 36%. The external power is still available. However, we no longer need it, so it can be unplugged by the ground personnel. The avail light is extinguished and the external power indications on the ECAM have disappeared. The external power source is disconnected. The electrical system is designed so that each engine generator will automatically come online and power its respective bus. We will start engine 2 first. Note, it is UAL policy to start number 1 engine first. In this sequence, number two is started first simply as a matter of convenience. The engine is running. Notice the generator automatically supplies the right side of the electrical system, leaving the APU to power the left side.
Notice also that the fault light on the generator 2 switch has disappeared. Once engine 1 has started, engine 1 generator takes over from the APU to supply the left hand side of the system. The fault light on the generator 1 switch has also disappeared. The APU is no longer connected to the system and the APU generator is now showing 0% load. Once both engines are running, the APU can be switched off. Switch off the APU. The electrical system is now in the normal configuration for taxi, takeoff and landing. In a normal flight, no further change occurs to the electrical configuration until the APU start on taxiing in. Now that the aircraft has landed, we will start the APU for you. The APU is now available and is standing by to take over from the engine driven generators when the engines are shut down. Both engines are stopped. The APU generator is back online and has automatically taken over supplying the entire electrical system. For training purposes, we will assume that the aircraft is to be completely shut down. So you have to request an external power source. The avail light on the panel and the external power indications on the ECAM have appeared, indicating that the external power source is plugged in and available. The on light is illuminated in the external power switch and the green lines to AC bus 1 and 2 indicate that external power has taken over from the APU. We can now shut down the APU. The external power can now be switched off. Switch the external power off. When all the main power sources are disconnected, the CRT screens become blank. To shut down the entire electrical system, we must switch off the batteries. Switch battery 1 off. Now switch off battery 2. All lights on the overhead panel have disappeared except the avail light, which is receiving power from the external cart. The battery voltage indications are LCDs and are wired directly to the batteries so that they are always displayed. 